The initial medical report said that Lucas had fallen in the water and had been there for about eight to 12 hours, meaning there had been at least a few days where he was not in the water and was alive. In the toxicology report, it showed that he had a high level of this sedative called GHB. Also, it was noted that his belt buckle had been tightened way tighter than he normally wore it, and some people speculated that it looked as if someone else had tried to dress him. The day after Lucas had gone missing, his roommate, who had been in the room the whole time, he goes to bed and wakes up to an alarm. But it's not his alarm, it's Lucas's alarm. It's his phone going off that's underneath Lucas's bed. Lucas definitely had his phone while he was out. Police would never subpoena the phone's records to find out where it went that night, so we're left wondering where was Lucas from the time he went missing and then wound up in the water. He was alive for those few days and he wasn't in the water. So where was he?